lately. Road trips to Oxford and Athens, but today it's back in Knoxville for the Lady Volunteers wearing the Summit Blue uniforms against the charcoal of Mizzou. Kia Jackson, early work for the Lady Vols. That's a, a great first possession out the gate for Tennessee, getting that ball inside Mizzou. They're going to switch up this defense quite a bit against Tennessee, so I'm excited to see how Tennessee adjusts. Abby Five in the starting lineup today in place of Frank. Couldn't get it past Tennessee, and the basketball's Lady Balls. Jasmine Powell running this Tennessee offense with Spear, Puckett, Jackson. Back-to-back -back starts for Tamari Key in the post for the Lady Balls. Puckett from three. Yes! Even on this last possession, Mizzou, they're coming out strong off of that screen. And then they have the defense rotating in the back. It's going to leave somebody open when they're hinging out so hard. Missouri's first points. That's exactly what Dembele does well. She's so fast. It's going to be hard to play one-on-one -on -one defense against her. You just have to move your feet and, and keep her in front of you. Play balls. Two for two from the floor to get this game going. Make it three for three. Once again, Jackson. Mizzou is going to have to do a better job just denying Rakia a lot earlier. When she gets the ball in her hand, it's, it's hard to stop her off of that. They're going to have to deny and get that, make that difficult pass. To Dembele to slaughter. And the offensive rebound, the putback will go. What a great heads up play by Dembele. Off of that screen, two lady balls were so sucked in. Slaughter just had an open open look under the basket. Well, Tennessee's first miss of the game. Again, you see the speed of Mama Dembele. Set up Judd. And she'll score. Great job by Judd being aggressive. That's what she does well. She had her teammate fight wide open on the three-point line, so Tennessee still has to be aware of that. Jewel Spear picking up where she left off. Bele swings it out to the perimeter, fights with a three. Tennessee's going to have to identify her quick in transition and, and get her to stop the ball and slow that ball. Kate Jackson connecting on her first three shots. The team's shooting well. Mizzou at 67%. Tennessee 5 of 7, 71% to start this game. Dembele showing off her speed once again. That's just beautiful basketball right here. Interrupted by Mama Dembele. Puckett. Ends a crazy sequence with a three. Puckett. Puckett, Bucket. That's what we love to see from her. Mama Dembele, though, her hands are so active. Missouri down four. Slaughter fights her way in and scores. Two-point Tennessee lead, make it five. Jewel Spear with another three-pointer. And it's translating during the game. Tennessee with another three-pointer, and once again, it's Jewel Spear. Dembele to the rim, the left side layup. That's, that's just a hard action to guard when you're going against a player who's so fast like Dembele is. But when you she has to, when she gets to the middle, great shot by Rafael Jackson. When Dembele gets to the middle, you have to force her to a side. Dembele from the right side. Gets the friendly roll again. Dembele with eight early points. That was just a, a tough possession. Tennessee, their hands were active. Their feet was moving. They were getting into passing lanes. That was only four seconds left on the shot clock. And then Dembele, the same move that she's done the last couple of bit because she's getting to the basket. And then she rips the ball away from Darby. And a foul will be called in transition. Or spread for a moment for Dembele. Now she tries to attack left. Puckett's right there for the steal. Great opportunity for Tennessee. Transition points, Kaya win. 
great finish by Kaya Wood. I love that she had that open lane and she kept the ball. She could have dished it down low, but she kept it, was aggressive, and got a great finish. Great energy inside the Food City Center now wanting some defense. Be called against likely Spear guarding closely against Ashton Judd. The Tigers have only made one three pointer so far. That's a huge point of the Zoo's offense. Trying to go to Linthicum, another Tennessee steal. Uh, poked away by Dembele. Will stay with Tennessee with only one second left to work with. Now with the inbounds pass, finding Puckett. Let's it fly and just off the mark to close out what was a great shooting first quarter for Tennessee. Lady Balls knocked down six three-pointers in a solid first ten minutes here in Knoxville. Let's see if there's anything else with that. Let's see, officials will take a look at the monitor. I think that's enough for a foul call and fight. The contact happened after she released the ball. That will send Sarah Puckett to the free throw line. The SEC and free throw percentage is 75%. Best team also in the building. Missouri just in front of 76%. First 10 minutes in Knoxville, an 11 point Tennessee lead. Lady Balls shot 63% from the floor to start this game, 10 of 16, then 6 of 10 from three point land. Hawkins pass tipped by Fight, a fight for the basketball, loose again, picked up by Powell. Caroline Stripling just short. Tess Darby. Mark from three, but there's Strip on the offensive rebound. Powell to puck it. That won't go. Finally, a defensive rebound for Missouri with Judd. And Olympic gun finding Judd. Ballet draws the foul from Darby. It's to alter those shots is going to be key in stopping. Now on double figures with 10 points. Bucket felt the pressure that time from Judd. Gia Jackson from the SEC logo. That was just a great post-to-post -post action. Playing high, low. In that situation, low to high. Great cut by Rakia Jackson. You want to get to that SEC logo in the middle of these defenses to break it down and get open looks. Judd from three-point land. Off the back iron. Bucket right to the rim. A little strong, but there's Rakia. I think Mizzou got away with a foul. Tabelle quickly to the rim. Denied to Mari into the game right now to alter those shots. And Bele doing a great job getting the, bas the basketball inside, but Kamari Key, it's, it's hard to shoot over her. Now just five re blocks behind Martha Allwall, who played at Mississippi State from 2011 to 2015 for eighth best, for seventh best in SEC history. It's Kamari Key best in Tennessee history, but now moving up the SEC career block record watch list. Slaughter from the outside with a three-pointer, the second for Mizzou in this game. Good to see Jillian Hollingshed back in for Tennessee. Three-pointer won't go. Tennessee two of eight from the floor to start the second quarter of play. Judd from three. Another one for Mizzou. Tess Darby wide open. Kia Jackson, one-handed rebound, then draws the foul. 
Except for Mama Dembele. Don't let her <laughs> get to the basket. She is so fast. Such great finishing moves around the rim. Over to trip. But Tennessee never quit Jules Spear. Offensive boards helping Tennessee to this nine-point lead against Missouri. Mizzou has a five out right now. That middle is so wide open. Judd with another three-pointer. Mizzou, they, when they can shoot at such a high level, that three-point shot, even though there's a gap when it comes to the score, you have to still be tuned in because those threes can help get back into the game very quickly. Foul call. Little Sim Jackson back to the free throw line. Makes her first here. Two for two this time for Akeem Jackson. Move their heads, have their head on a swivel to be aware of those easy looks. Judd from the baseline has that one go in and out. Longshed just missed on Tennessee's last possession. Jackson fighting in and scoring. That was just a strong up and under move from Virginia Jackson. She has 17 right now. One more, 2,000 for her career. From outside, Dembele. Getting hit the three. Puckett. Turnaround jumper wouldn't go, but another offensive rebound for Tennessee. It's now six in this ball game. Spear with the hook shot, a little strong. Dembele to the rim, another one. Dembele, she was about to pass it to Ashton Judd in the corner and then realized, I have an open lane, let me just take this. Rakia Jackson. Over 2,000 points in her collegiate career. Just the eighth lady ball in that club. Mizzou down 10 once again. LA lost control of it. It'll be Tennessee ball when we return to Knoxville. They can get going very quickly. And so you have to identify where they are. And again, just be tuned in every possession. Sarah Puckett to the rim. And she scores inside after knocking down a couple of early three-pointers. Ten points for Puckett. Shrek left side, got it. You know, she wish she had a little bit more swag because the way she plays is, is so, is, is just so like in your face and fast and up tempo and that's not really her personality. So she's just always been, you know, again, Mizzou's always been that more set up of the team and she's really came in and made Missouri Berlin, Germany at the free throw line. Spear. Off the back iron. Really another offensive rebound for Tennessee. Pass break chance for the Tigers. That one will calm it down. Go to the shot clock. with time winding down. Could not score. They're stripling for the rebound. Quickly to Puckett. Yes. What a pass. Great job by Puckett to run the floor and get an easy layup. Another assist.
assist by Jasmine Powell, already six in this ball game. Final minute of this first half. Shrek, on the elbow, that won't go. Shot clock turned off for the rest of this second quarter. Ten seconds left. Powell with the floater. Seconds for Missouri. Dembele passed halfway. Don't hit the three, and the second quarter comes to a close. It's Tennessee maintaining a double. Third quarter begins at the Food City Center. Judd. Driving in, too strong that first option. Basketball to Lady Balls. Dembele trying for a seal against Powell. Kia Jackson. Ball ripped out of her hands. Saved in play. Slaughter, seven points in the first half. Finding Dembele, loads up a three. Off the mark there. Another loose basketball. The ball has been flying to become the biggest threat. Not to say she can't knock down the three-point shot, but you would rather live with her shooting out there than getting the ball. Tamari Key with Tennessee's first points of the third quarter. Zoo quickly down the floor. There's Lenticum and a foul called on Jackson. Two-time All-State. She's Missouri Class 5A Player of the Year. Bigger than the box score. Every day she celebrates her teammates. She brings great energy. It's infectious. Jackson, the turnaround. Off the mark that time. Another fight for the basketball. One by Tennessee. Shot clock winding down. Jump ball. This time the arrow favors Missouri. Tennessee with its largest lead of the game, 14 points. Missouri still hasn't scored in this third quarter. And another turnover on the Tigers. He lost the handle. There's the steal, Dembele. Finding Judd. That won't go. Those are tough plays for Mizzou that you want to convert from. You want to get this, this lead a little closer. Key once again. I love that Tennessee has really been playing that inside game, especially with Tamari Key and Rakia Jackson. They've been really looking to get that ball inside. A fight from the corner with a three-pointer, and that's what the Tigers needed. Low scoring start to this third quarter through the first four minutes. Spear finding her lane to the basket. I wish we could give the assist to Mari Key. She did such a good job posting and moving that other defender out the way, giving Spear that open lane. Judd into the paint, scores from the logo. They have to be better. It can be four to five minute stretches, but they make all of the difference when it comes to the end of the game and when it comes to those three or four points getting that win. Right now trying to race what was a 12-point halftime deficit. 13 at the moment. Sauter driving in. And scores. And playing for the Lady Vols. Jackson. Off the mark from three. And then the foul called Darby getting tangled up with Shrek. Two. Two 
fouls on Tennessee, none on Missouri so far in the third quarter. Slaughter around the screen, right back to Linthicum, to a wide open Shrek, and she buries the three. Win into the paint. A little short with the left hand. Easy to stay aggressive, but she had just a, a short jumper right there that she should have took advantage of. Slaughter fighting in against Darby and another foul called against Tess Darby. Slaughter putting her body in and, and making the refs call that. Slaughter now with 10 points, so she's double for the point. Two for two trip. And Missouri fighting back in this ballgame, now trailing by six. It's been a 9-0 Mizzou run over the last two minutes. Darby. Off the back iron from three. Chance to continue this run for the Tigers. How about Slaughter? Again! Any team that she's ever coached. And it's really fun for her. All right, now the Tigers needing a stop. Tennessee trying to find some offense. Nearly three minutes without a point for the Lady Vols. Sarah Puckett breaks the scoring drought. Back to a six point advantage after the Puckett three. Zeus hit five shots in a row. Rape against Puckett. Little short. Defensive rebound, Tennessee. Powell gives Tennessee an eight-point lead and a chance at nine at the line. Great tough move by Jasmine Powell. That's what Tennessee needs right now is that spark, that boost of energy. Nobody stops her. She just drives in and able to get... The easy but tough layup. Already six assists in this ball game. She's been averaging over six assists over the last ten games. Judd. Too strong. One pick up the rebound. Five in the shot clock. Dembele calling out a new play. Has to hurry. Floater won't go. They're stripping the rebound. L.A. trying for the steal. She'll be called to the foul. Bucket in that three-pointer to break the scoring drought. Spark this 6-0 run. Right now, it's dual speed. You can see Jasmine Powell playing heavily off of Dembele, really making them move. Dembele for an easy two. Sarah Puckett both with 15 points for Keith Jackson with 19. And more for Spear. Another three-pointer for Jules Spear. I love how she just smiles after <laughs> every possession because you can just tell it's, it's fun for her and she's really enjoying this, this moment in her career. 12-0 run answered by a Tennessee 11-0 run. Two seconds left. Slaughter lost control of it. Powell with some defense. The half court he just off the mark. But Tennessee close. For more on Spear and Jackson, let's check in again with Sarah Detweiler. Well, in talking to Coach Harper and talking specifically about Jewel and Rakia these past couple of games, she said, I think on the court, not having a heavy load is great for Rakia. We can spread the ball around, and obviously, Jewel stepping up and playing with great confidence gives not just Rakia confidence, it gives our whole team confidence. And it's been a really big positive for everyone. Five on the shot clock for Judd. And she got it to go. Tennessee with Powell flying down the floor. This coast to coast. I mean, nobody stopped her. Dembele, no luck. Mama Dembele. Oh, 
That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what she does. She's an impressive player. Here's Spear fighting in, and she will draw the foul. Free throws coming up. So Mizzou looking for some offense, turning to Mama Tembele. Tembele with just the reverse layup. She's just, she's gifted, that's for sure. Needs to be on Sports Center tonight. It looked like she just threw it up, but she knew what she was doing. <laughs> Tess Darby defended it well for Tennessee. <laughs> she did, she did, but that's just a, a hard play to to guard. She continues to play well in Tennessee's big games, and really will be counted on moving forward. See a tough stretch coming up, starting with Alabama on Thursday. Just a ballet, this time couldn't connect. And, you know, if you're Tennessee, that's something, you know, you have, still have in the back of your mind when you, you know, reach like the SEC tournament time and where you might see Mizzou again. Stripling fighting in and drawing the foul. Stripling at the free throw line for the Lady Vols. After that, it's pretty wide open for any other team to kind of step up and just that, that next team. See, trying to be in that conversation. Time for second in the league with Ole Miss. Ole Miss did defeat Tennessee last week in, Knox, in Oxford. And here's the steal from Tess Darby. Spear. Over 20 points again to close out the month of February. It's going to be quite a stretch coming up for the Lady Vols. They have some tough games coming up, but in those moments, you have to really dial in and, and, and use it to your strength because when SEC tournament comes, you're playing back-to-back -back games that are, are going to be tough. So you have to capitalize off of these moments and take advantage of them. Truck, knocking down the three-pointer for Missouri. This is a Tennessee team that maybe starting to figure out some of the different roles on the team really well. So Mark Key is back in the starting lineup. And of course, Joe Spear continues playing at a high level. Just couldn't finish there. Or we'll just have a much better sense of who this Tennessee team is, it feels like, at this point of the year. Spear nearly hit back-to-back -back threes. Exactly. Their identity is, is starting to really pan out. They're, again, trusting into Coach Kelly's idea of what she wants to see. When, you, when you're this late into the season, there's not too much of adjusting your game. You just kind of make certain tweaks here or there based on the team you're playing. But who you are as a team is who you are as a team at this point in the season. Right now Tennessee with some strong defense. Got a basket from Stripling last possession. Rakia Jackson. The extra pass. Love to see that for Tennessee. Here's Judd. Off the iron, then over the backboard. Dembele with the steal. Mama to the rim with the score. I really wish Tennessee could have converted on that last possession. 6-5 versus 5-6. Another turnover. And Rape will convert. Running the floor. She's so quick. That is the strength that she's adding to this Missouri team. 22 points, Jewel Spear. You can see the fatigue on Missouri. I think in multiple spurts of this game, when it's come down to the last two minutes of the, the quarters, they have been looking a little fatigued and, and tired. Rafe scores. Second field goal she's made to get up to six points. Mama Dembele, another steal and another score. That's her game. Exactly. It's not just she's doing that against Tennessee. She's consistently doing that. That's her game. She's so gifted at it. She's leading the SEC, SEC in steals. Steal right in the ball game against Shrek. Abby Shrek with a three-pointer up and just short. Kai 
and fights in and draws the foul. I went to the free throw line for the Lady Balls. I'm just admiring the baby blue jerseys right now. <laughs> <laughs> they look so good. I love getting to wear the Summit Blue, especially here at home. Ben Rappe fighting and scoring once again. Now she's headed to the free throw line for him. There's one minute left in the game. Hollingshed. Off the iron and the rebound by Sarah Lentcum. She and her sister Micah have gotten some late minutes here against Tennessee. Of course, Hannah Lentcum, one of the starters for the Tigers. Now the older two sisters on the floor as that one will go. Edie Darby in a rebound. Darby. And out on the three. And a foul call, and we'll go the other way. So Missouri, we've talked about their sisters all throughout the ballgame, of course. Tess Darby and Edie Darby. Sister duo getting to play for the Lady Vols. Ben Rappe continues a strong fourth quarter. 11 points for her. Lady Balls will dribble out the final moments as Tennessee still unbeaten at home in conference play. And the Lady Balls pick up an 80-69 win against Missouri.